So I'm going to try this pattern just for fun and see if we can make it happen. I was just messing around with it the other day. Um, just kind of using that bent wing technique um, and then trying to change it into more of a caddis rather than a betis or mayfly. Got a sight size 14 dry fly hook in the vise and I'm just using a light colored uh, Semper fly nano silk for the for the pattern. So we're going to come down here right around to where the barbed hook would be just as a measuring point as I um, begin this particular fly. Should work for us. So then I'm just going to go forward a, a few wraps. I'm going to start just by dubbing the body and I'm going to use super fine dubbing. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, kind of take some of the cinnamon caddis as well as the tan, just a tiniest um, little bit as usual is all you need. In fact, I've got so much there that it's probably going to, I'll end up pulling some of it off. So I've got the cinnamon and the tan kind of together here. And I'm going to keep them that way just um, to kind of keep more of a variegated um, feel to this. We're just going to finger dub this onto our thread here. And the, again, I've said it a million times, but um, one of the things that's really nice about Superfine is that it it dubs incredibly tight. So we'll get our one or two wraps back here. Being a caddis fly, we're going to um, work on more of a reverse taper where it's going to be a little bit thicker towards the back end and then thinner as we move our way forward. So I'm just dubbing on the second helping, uh, more or less, of the stubbing. And again, I want that reverse taper, so I'm going to tighten this down as I move forward up the shank of the hook. Until we get to where I'm going to want to tie the wing in. Which is going to be probably right about there. That's probably going to be my last turn right there. So I'll just go ahead and pull the dubbing off here, the extra that I've got. I'll just pull that, take a wrap or two over the top while I hold that dubbing on my fingers and then I can just really come in here with my scissors and clip that off. And that's about where I'm gonna want to tie in my, my bent wing. Um, I've already prepared a feather and I'm, I'm actually just gonna use a mallard uh, flank. And this is a wood duck gold and um, more or less uh, prepared it this way where I've uh, stripped off uh, most of the fuzzy pieces and made sure that I've got as even as I can on either side here, the number of fibers. From there, we're gonna just grab the very tip and then I'm gonna stroke some of those fibers backwards. Sometimes it helps to wet your fingers a little bit. So after I've got those fibers stroked back, um, there's the tip and um, I've wetted the tip down just a little bit just so it stays together. I'm taking a nozzle from one of my UV um, resin. I never end up using them so I use them for this. I'm going to go ahead and stick that through the, the top here, that tip end. You'll see it start to come out there. Um, and as it comes out, you'll see exactly where we folded some of that material backwards because it will be bent backwards. Just like that. And then I'm just going to look for a measurement here. Um, I'm going to tie this with that, those feathers uh, pointing backwards. I'll just take a thread wrap here. At least one to get us started anyway. So once I get at least that one thread wrap in there, I'm going to really try to get this um, centered as much as I can over the shaft of the hook. So that's why I'm turning my vise more towards me. So a couple of things that we're wanting to accomplish here. One is um, I want to make sure I get this secure. Um, 
And that's where the nano silk can come in handy here because you're not adding a lot of bulk. Um, we're, we're looking something like this at this point. Hopefully you can see that. And this, this here is going to be the, the point that we suck through our nozzle. This is gonna become our wing. We're gonna just split that uh, feather shaft right in half, and then we're gonna cut off this excess, and um, that's what we're gonna to try to do to make a caddis out of this. So once I've got that locked down pretty good, um, I'm gonna go ahead and grab my scissors, and hopefully we've made this short enough. Um, that we'll be able to like, cut it fairly close like that, and then I'll just come in and trim in, uh, trim these little pieces out. So now that I've got that cleaned up a little bit, it's gonna look a little bit like this. I'm gonna try to focus so you can see kind of what we're looking at there. Um, when I use this technique, um, typically or most commonly, I would uh, I would split this wing right now, um, but um, what I did the other day when I was tying it was not do that until the, the very end. Um, but what we're gonna do is I've got myself a done hackle um, appropriately sized here and we're going to use that for the front end here of the of the fly so I'm gonna go ahead and kind of tie that in right about where I want to start taking wraps um, with that hackle and then I'm just gonna move my thread forward just a few wraps and then I'll come in with my scissors and grab that stem and we'll go ahead and snip it off so it's not hanging over the eye Now, without crowding the eye, I'm going to go back and we're going to grab a little bit more of the dubbing. This time it's going to be more of the cinnamon. And this will just help cover up some of those thread wraps. Um, that's all I'm trying to do here. Um, and also kind of create a hint of a, a, a bit of a thorax. Once I have that on, I'm just going to go ahead and take a few wraps back to where I'm going to start um, this hackle moving up. And then I'll just tighten it as I move forward, just taking a few wraps, trying to leave myself just about an eye length uh, is what I've got right there um, behind the eye of the hook. Okay, so once we get to this point, um, all I've done is put a half hitch in um, so I could hang my bobbin on my bob bobbin cradle here. I'm going to grab myself some hackle pliers. Um, I'm going to be just using that rotating feature here on, on this vise. So get that hackle firmly clamped in my pliers here. And then I'm going to, I like to crease this a little bit um, towards the eye of the hook. And then I'm just going to take some fairly open wraps uh, moving up and through that dubbing material. Probably this will be our last wrap right here. Keep my tension on that hackle plier so I don't have that hackle unwinding on me. Go ahead and tighten up my thread a little bit. We're going to take a couple of wraps over the top of that hackle to help lock it in place. So this is behind the hackle, uh, more towards the bend of the hook. So these thread wraps are going over the top of that feather shaft. Um, once I've got a couple of wraps in on that side, I'm gonna go ahead and pull this backwards just a little bit and I'm gonna just get myself a couple of wraps also in front. From there, I should be safe releasing this from my hackle plier just like that. And I am going to grab uh, my half hitch um, bodkin tool because that's what I often turn to when I'm doing this kind of a hackling on the front of a fly. So just this brass, um, probably bought this like 30 years ago, but um, bodkin, I don't use it as a bodkin as much anymore, but the other end has got the hole in it. Um, which will allow me to just wrap my thread around, stick that hole over the eye of the hook, and slide that knot into place. So that's 
doing a couple things for us right there. It's first of all securing our thread so it's now not going to come unwrapped, um, but it's also pushing those hackles back a little bit um, so I don't have to trim quite as many out um, when I'm done here. And I'm not going to whip finish. This is going to be um, kind of how we're going to finish the fly off here. So you can see I've taken a few thread wraps there. Go ahead and let my thread dangle and put my handy tool back. I'm going to grab my scissors. I'm going to cut this hackle on the front here off and I want to cut it off as close as I can where the stem um, is against the shank of the hook. So that we end up with something like that. I'll set that hackle aside because I probably can use that to tie a few more flies still. And with that, I can now cut the thread. So I'm going to grab my tool to cut my thread and get that portion of the fly finished. Just like that. Um, I really like this. I mean, it's on the other opposite end of this loon tool. Um, I've looked for them elsewhere, but it, it kind of looks like a regular screwdriver head. Um, but actually you can just touch it against the thread and it breaks it off and it makes a much closer cut I'm finding than, than scissors ever could. So now that we've gone that far, now we hold our breath and we're going to carefully um, grab that handle from the back and we're going to slowly try to split the wing. about like that. So it's going to look a little bit messy, but you get the idea. So we've split that feather right down the center by grabbing these top um, handle portions and basically splitting them apart. And that shaft of the feather, if you're really careful, will just go ahead and split right down the middle and it makes a really nice looking wing. Um, this is more of a G whiz kind of a, a pattern, by the way. I don't know how durable it is. Um, from, from here, I'm just going to come in and I'm going to do a little bit of cleanup. I can go ahead and um, work on cutting those handles off on either side. So once we have those cut off, we've got something looking more like that. And then I'm going to go ahead, and I want these kind of uh, tented like a like I would expect a caddis fly. So I'm going to kind of squish them together um, around the shaft of the hook, and um, just kind of give them a good pinch. So we get kind of that tent-like um, shape that you would want with a with a caddis fly. So there you go. Um, just again using the bent wing um, technique, but this time rather than using that bent wing to, um, going straight upright um, for a mayfly, um, we've created that kind of tent wing um, that lays back over the body um, to make a caddis fly.